Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you um, three different ways you can create and reuse page templates in SharePoint Online. Uh, before we proceed, um, I want to kind of repeat what I mentioned in one of my previous videos, and that is the uh, difference between a SharePoint site and a SharePoint page, because uh, we're not talking about uh, creating and reusing a SharePoint, uh, site template, we're talking about uh, uh, creating and reusing page template. Uh, a site is a workspace, all right? A site is a workspace, uh, essentially that consists of various web parts, uh, but a site also consists of various pages, and a page is just um, a means to display information on the site. Uh, so over here right now, I have an Office 365 group site, and uh, obviously I have a number of different web parts, out-of-the-box web parts, uh, and um, if I want to maybe create uh, another look and feel, uh, I can create an extra page. So let me do just that. So I'm going to add a, another page. Um, I'm adding an extra page to my site. Uh, and um, let's just call it test page. Here we go. Uh, I can obviously uh, tweak uh, the look and feel uh, a little bit. Here we go. Uh, I can obviously add some web parts. Let's uh, spice it up a little bit. Uh, Maybe we'll add uh, some text in here, all right? And, um, you know, some other random uh, web parts. Let's just, uh, really doesn't really matter what we do here the, uh, for the demo purposes. Uh, and let's just say this consists of, uh, you know, we are adding a document library, perfect. Uh, let's pretend this is our page uh, that we created. It's a new page. Uh, uh, an extra page, uh, right, uh, that I have on my site. Uh, and let's just say I now want to convert this into the template, meaning I want to reuse it. Um, so if I create a new page, I, um, you know, uh, my users uh, can pretty much utilize the same look and feel and maybe just tweak the, uh, the content a little bit. So um, let me show you three different options to do that. Uh, option number one, uh, you would just navigate to the um, to the um, site pages library, which is essentially a special library, just like document library is for documents, uh, site pages library is uh, a library for pages. And here we go. Um, this is my default home page, right? This is the new one I uh, just created. Uh, and if I want to replicate it, uh, you just right click and say copy to, and we pretty much copy it into the same location. That's the only option. So here we go, and now I have an extra page created, and it just adds uh, a number at the end, all right, so because we can't have the same file name twice. So now I have pretty much, I just duplicated this page, and here we go, that would be uh, option number one. Uh, another option, another option uh, for you to uh, replicate the page would be to use this uh, new button over here. Uh, and if you notice, right, I can either create a new page or I can pretty much say, you know, create a copy of this page right from the front end. You don't even need to go to site content, site pages anymore. Uh, you, you pretty much do it from here. So here we go, copy of this page and look at this. It maintains the same, uh, the same look and feel uh, and everything, which all we need to do is just uh, give it a name. So uh, let me be creative here. Uh, here is the name of my page. All right. So that's uh, option number two. All right, let me publish that. Here we go. I just published it. Um, so that was option number two. Uh, and now I want to show you a third and final uh, option. And um, I even don't need to create a new page. Uh, it's available uh, right from here, from this menu that popped up on the right hand side. As soon as I published the page, it also gave me an option to save this page as a template. So let me do that and I'll show you what will happen when I do that. So you just save this as a template and uh, let's call this uh, um, our page template. Again, I'm not really creative with the uh, with the names here, but you could name it whatever you want. And it even tells you over here that this page is the template and you will click save page, page template uh, in the upper right hand corner. Perfect. Now, let me show you what actually just happened. All right, before I proceed, let me go to the gear icon, site contents, site pages. Here we go. 
Look at this. In the site pages library that I showed you previously, we now have an, a folder called templates. This folder was created just literally a few seconds ago uh, when I decided to save my page as a template. Uh, and if you click inside of this folder, you are going to see the page template I just uh, created. All right. Uh, now, here's how to utilize this uh, page template. So, um, if your users now want to create a new page, they just click new page and look at this. So they are presented with a screen over here with the screen that allows you to select the template. Now, all of these templates over here in the top row are pretty much out of the box uh, Microsoft templates, all right, that you can utilize. But look at this, at the bottom of the page, you have the custom page template that we just created. And this is the same page template that we got uh, that essentially is stored in that templates folder in the site pages library. So if I'm going to click that, uh, it will render the kind of the look and feel of our page template. And after I create a page, look at this. Now we have um, yet another page created from a template. All right. So three different options. Uh, option number one, uh, we just kind of manually copied the uh, page uh, from uh, our um, you know, within the site pages library. Uh, option number two, we utilize this uh, uh, copy page, uh, copy of this page uh, mechanism um, uh, under the new drop down. And option number three, uh, which was kind of cool and a little bit fancy, uh, we utilize the uh, page templates, you know, folder um, within the site pages library. So either of these options will create, will uh, make sure that your users uh, stick to the same kind of look and feel when they um, create a page. I, uh, a use case, uh, a use case for, for, for page templates would be if you are trying to build a wiki, uh, a knowledge base, right? And, uh, um, you know, if you maintain a site with, uh, you know, hundreds of pages and you maybe want to, um, you know, maintain the same look and feel for all your knowledge base articles, uh, this is a great way to kind of, um, you know, utilize this page template functionality. All right, so hopefully you learned something new today. Uh, as always, I will be, um, you know, happy to see you on my uh, YouTube channel again, as well as my uh, blog, SharePointMaven.com. And uh, what I, uh, I'm going to do also is include uh, a link to another video uh, within this video um, uh, in the description, um, uh, the link to the video um, uh, that compares sites and pages. So it's very, very important uh, for you to know the difference between the two. All right. Thank you very much again. Uh, have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.